Assalamu alaikum welcome back to the crafty bird i hope you are all doing fine today's tutorial is about this beautiful cradle so let's get started i am using this iron rod and this is 47 by 37 inches long so i am doing this uh, cradle base right now and i just arranged all the cords so the distance uh, is 2 inches between every pair of square knot these are all uh, done by reverse lasting knot and I have made square knot underneath this. Now what we are going to do, we will make simple pattern of alternating square knot and we will create a pattern. This is, I will leave here. So this is 1.5 inches of distance, 1.5. Mm -hmm. 1.5 inches of distance. Are here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 9 are here. So we we'll keep uh, making uh, these square knots one by one and we'll create a back. This is basically the seat of the cradle. Very basic macrame uh, back that we have uh, done so many times earlier. But I want to show you in detail for those, those people who are beginners or who are very new to the macrame. So 1.5 inches. When I say this whole digit and like this, this is 1.5. 1.5. Uh, then we will move on further and we will reach to the, this step. Here we will add the single rows. From here we are going to add single uh, cords and we will incorporate them into this one. Add another cord. This is. 320 inches of single cord and leaving the 2 inches of distance, keep the distance same. 2 inches, keep the distance same and then by using this single cord and this cord, you will add another square knot in this. Like this. Keeping the distance 1.5. And now, we can make another row square knot. We will add another single cord here, here and also here. And after that, we will stop adding the cords and we will just use this similar cord and we'll wrap it around and continue the pattern. So when the seed is all done, now we have to pull this like this and we will attach it by the help of double half inch. You have to pull the seed very tightly so that the seed will be firm and tight. Don't sling down so easily. So pick up the one by one every cord and pull it hard and attach by the help of double half pitch like this so I'm pulling each cord as much tighter as I can and These are 48 cords and each cord is 380 inches long. So by folding these 48 cords, uh, we will get 96 cords and each group having 20. So once uh, you are done with the wrapping knots and uh, division of the groups, now I just left 5 inches of this distance. This is 5 inches from wrapping knot to 6 square knots, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in each group. We have 24 cords that will make 6 square knots like this. So in each group we are having 6 square knots. Afterwards leave 2 inches of distance and join these 2 groups on left and right side by joining extreme right and left cords like this.
Here you can see we have uh, these six square knots. The 24 cords are now turned into six pairs of square knot and now I'm arranging them. So I align them in the way naturally they are coming from above and now you can see. Now leaving the 12 inches of distance, 12 inches of distance make a square knot by using the four cords. We have to create an inclined line of square knots. Now pick the two cords from the adjacent square knot like this and start making a square knot in this way. We are using two cords from the first square knot and two cords from the adjacent square knot. We will keep doing this until we get a inclined line of square knots. Now you can see I am using the other two cords and making a square knot in this way. Here you can see we are making a line. So one by one pick two chords from the adjacent square knot and make square knots like this. Keep doing this until you uh, use all the chords. In this way we are creating a V-shape pattern like this. Finally we have our last two chords and we are going to make a final square knot for this panel. In this way we will create uh, four panels which are going to attach by double half hitches uh, to the first ring of this cradle. You can see here we have this V-shape from left to right and right to left. So the total length from the hook to this upper ring is 40 inches. Total length is 40 inches. What we have done, uh, we just uh, took these cords and then made a wrapping knot, leaving the 5 inches of distance, a square knot row, and then an inclined row of square knots from this square knot to this, this is 12 inches, and after that, made an inclined square knot. Afterwards, taking the total length of 40 inches, attached this whole structure to the upper end by the help of double half inch, like this. Pick the cord one by one. We need to balance this ring. Here you can see I just added uh, these pairs of uh, chords here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 20 pairs of square knot here. That means these are 40 chords attached here by the help of your slugs and knot. And then underneath this I made this square knot. Then these chords are coming from above. A pair of chord here coming from above then again 20 chords added here by the help of reverse laps and knot like this as you can see and then underneath this I'm going to make a square knot like this reverse laps and knot and square knot reverse laps and knot and square knot so here I also added 20 pairs of square knot that means 40 chords are here and 40 chords are behind so 40 and 40 80 chords here and 81 82 this 83 and 84 total 84 chords are added on this upper ring to make the cradle design and uh, 
these are all 130 inches squats so keep your uh, cradle balanced and steady now we will start the design we will just make a simple um, square knot web here picking two cords from each square knot like this two from here and two from here and just make a square knot like this Then here, keep making this. So wherever you find uh, this kind of gap in your cradle, you may add another cord like this and continue your work. The added cord is also 130 inches long and then you can make a square knot. So wherever you feel that uh, you require another cord, you may add it like this and then continue your work. This step can, uh, can be vary for different uh, rope and different size of uh, rings. So now you can see I have this uh, inverted V shape. Why I have this? Because I need to uh, create a pattern here. As you can see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 cords here and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 square knots pair here and 10 are there. So this is the center of the cradle. Here you will make 1 and 2 rows of square knot and afterwards we will create a pattern like this. You need to go in this way. So I am taking this square knot as my uh, starting point here and I will use 1, 2, 3, 4 like this. So 4 square knot in a row and then I will close this like this. So first pick these cords and these cords and we will make a grand square knot here by picking these cords and uh, align them with the fourth square knot remember we are taking one two three four so this should be aligned with this make a knot here and then what we will do we will pick this fourth square knot we will pick this cord and this and keeping the same distance like this underneath Exactly underneath this square knot, we will create a square knot again, like this. And then this, so pick this cord, now this one and pick this. exactly under this cord pick this and two and then you will close it So like this we have this pattern. Now you can continue and you can make square knots here. We are keeping the height of this uh, cradle 15 inches. This swap will be 15 inches.
similarly on this side uh, this is the one two chords and uh, keeping this as a central point will make one two three and four before making the fourth square knot we need to create a adjacent chord so that we can proceed with the fourth one here and I am making this fourth square knot so like we have uh, done before one two three four and here I have to create the same thing and to create the fourth one I need to do this because you know the chords are coming along with each other and we are working the chords by mixing them and attaching them together so now this one this will be the fourth chord so one two three four one two three four now pick these chords and make a grand knot And then this and this. Making a square knot again underneath this with the same distance and length. And this. This will be underneath this. it will be it should be equal in and now this now we can do this uh, the same pattern will be done on all the sides this is uh, the center of uh, the side uh, the shorter side and 10 chords here and 10 chords here this will be the center for the longer side so on the other side we will do the same thing and keep making square knots in a row like this until you reach 15 inches of length of this cradle and then we will attach our seat we have already uh, see how we have done the seat and uh, we will attach the seat by the help of double half hitch after making the seat we will do a little pattern and we will finish off our cradle so let me finish this whole web Finally, when you are all done and the web is on 15 inches uh, length, you will have now attach the seat. The web is 15 inches long now. 15 inches. You have to check every cord. It should be 15. And if the cord is not 15, you have to reopen it and do it again, right? So 15 inches so that you can align the seat very properly. Now I have uh, put two uh, stools under the seat and now I am going to attach this whole structure by the help of 
double half edge or this knot as our attaching point tight it and then we will make double half edge you have to keep this square knot just above the lower ring don't pull it so it will stay above the ring Now we will uh, make a little pattern here. Just make square knot first. So here you need to make a few square knots, and then you will trim the cords, and uh, we will finish off our cradle. So we just completed our project today. I hope you love this beautiful cradle. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel. Until the next video, please take care of yourself and Khuda Hafiz.